Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and reward from the God who saves us. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He is the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Brightness of the Father's glory, springing from eternal light, source of light by light engendered, day enlightening every day. In your everlasting radiance, shine upon us, Christ, true Son, bringing life to mind and body through the Holy Spirit's power. Father of unfading glory, rich in grace and strong to save, hear our prayers and come to save us, keep us far from sinful ways. Dawn is drawing ever nearer, dawn that brings us all we seek, Son who dwells within the Father, Father uttering one word. Glory to the God, the Father. Glory to His Holy Son. Glory now and through all ages to the Spirit Advocate. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. To my words give ear, O Lord, give heed to my groaning. Attend to the sound of my cries, my King and my God. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord. In the morning you hear me. In the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You are no God who loves evil. No sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil. You destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man the Lord detests. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice, because of those who lie in wait. Make clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their lie and their mouths, rather. Their heart is all mischief. Their throat a wide open grave, all honey their speech. All those who protect shall be glad and ring out their joy. You shelter them, in you they rejoice, those who love your name. It is you who bless the just man, Lord. You surround him with favor as with a shield. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, all justice and goodness comes from you. You hate evil and abhor lies. Lead us, your servants, in the path of your justice, so that all who hope in you may rejoice with the church and in Christ. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. We praise your glorious name, O Lord our God.
blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory. For all in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are for you, and you have dominion over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Therefore, our God, we give thanks and we praise the majesty of your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We praise your glorious name, O Lord, our God. Adore the Lord in his holy court. O oh, give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters, the Lord on the immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor, the Lord's voice shattering the cedars, the Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire. The Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord's voice the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders in his temple. They all cry, Glory! And the Lord sat enthroned over the flood, and the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You live forever, Lord and King. All things of the earth justly sing your glory and honor. Strengthen your people against the evil that we may rejoice in your peace and trust in your eternal promise. Adore the Lord in his holy court. A reading from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. Anyone who would not work should not eat. We hear that some of you are unruly, not keeping busy, but acting like busybodies. We enjoin all such, and we urge them strongly in the Lord Jesus Christ to earn the food they eat by working quietly. You must never grow weary of doing what is right, brothers. Blessed be the Lord our God, blessed from age to age. Blessed be the Lord our God, blessed from age to age. His marvelous works are beyond compare, blessed from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Lord our God, blessed from age to age. Blessed be the Lord our God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sights all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, 
and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord our God. We esteem Christ above all men, for he was filled with grace and the Holy Spirit. In faith let us implore him, Give us your spirit, Lord. Grant us a peaceful day. When evening comes, we will praise you with joy and purity of heart. Give us your spirit, Lord. Let your splendor rest upon us today. Direct the work of our hands. Give us your spirit, Lord. May your face shine upon us and keep us in peace. May your strong arm protect us. Give us your spirit, Lord. Look kindly on all who put their trust in our prayers. Fill them with every bodily and spiritual grace. Give us your spirit, Lord. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, may everything we do begin with your inspiration and continue with your saving help. Let our work always find its origin in you and through you reach completion. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.